Hey you guys, so I want to say that November seems like a really good looking month for Nintendo Switch owners. And that's not to say that the other months haven't been great because since release in March, we've basically gotten one major title every month coming down the line. And not to mention last month, we had both Fire Emblem Warriors and Super Mario Odyssey within a week of each other. And that in and of itself is kind of crazy. I don't even think at this point I need to say anything more about Super Mario Odyssey. As I come up with games and stuff that I want to stream, I have to stay on top of this. So I, I literally have a calendar that I go through. I'm like, okay, so what's coming on in this week? What will I be getting? What am I going to stream? So as I'm going through this and I'm looking, I'm like, okay. So um, there are a lot of games that will be coming out in November for the Nintendo Switch. It's almost, from what I was able to count, it's almost like at the rate of one game per day. November has, what, 30 days, and I'm, I've am i counted up to something like 26, 27 different games. So it's like crazy for the month of November. And I'm looking through my, okay, so not every game is gonna be something that I'll be personally interested in, but it's still kind of crazy. Now this is what I have so far. Sonic Forces comes out on November 7th, and of course I'll be getting that. Um, Sonic Mania was a good 2D Sonic game. I loved it, I loved the music for it and everything, and it really satisfied my craving for 2D Sonic. And I'm hoping that Sonic Forces does that when it comes to 3D Sonic, because the last really solid Sonic game that I've played has been Sonic Generations, and that was a couple years ago. So I'm looking forward to Sonic Forces and hopefully it is as good as I hope that it will be. Three days after Sonic Forces drops, Doom gets released on the Nintendo Switch. So you know all those people that said that the Nintendo Switch was gonna be doomed? I guess they were right. And this will be happening on November 10th. Of course, a lot of you guys may have already played Doom before, so Doom on the Nintendo Switch is not gonna add anything more that is not already on Doom. But, you get the whole experience portable. And to me, that makes such a huge difference. Even though I've basically been under a rock for who knows how long, and I've never played Doom. The last time I played Doom was on Nintendo 64, however many years ago. So this is gonna be a completely new experience for me, and I'm looking forward to playing it, especially on the Nintendo Switch. I tend to buy all of my games physical, like as much as I can find physical releases, that's what I'm gonna get. And this kind of helps save me on memory and storage space, but games like Doom will have its multiplayer as something you have to download extra. So even if you buy the physical release of Doom and you want to play multiplayer, you will still have to download that. So for people who have never really worried about their storage space because you bought physical, now might be the time to um, give your storage a second look. Um, fortunately for me, <laughs> in the Nintendo Switch hype, I got myself a 200 gigabyte micro SD card which has been mainly untouched. So like I'm I'm good at least when it comes to that for now. And I'm super excited to actually experience this game portable. Just 4 days after Doom comes out, there's LA Noir, Telltale's Batman and Rocket League. And I'm definitely going to be getting all 3 of those games. Rocket League is super fun especially on PC and I'm looking forward to having that on the Switch. And again, to have that portable, like, like I notice a trend with a lot of the games that I get on my Switch that I could have gotten on my PC, it's like, it is such a huge benefit to be able to have these games portable. Because I, I'm on the move a lot and if I can take my games with me, even though the graphics and, and a few other things might be turned down a little bit, I'll take that, that's a win to me. Oh yeah, and you remember how I said I've been living under a rock for who knows how long? Um, I am one of the five people on planet Earth that have never played Skyrim. And that comes out November 17th on the Nintendo Switch. So guess who's got two thumbs and will be getting Skyrim? I'm gonna be playing it for the very first time, and I know that I could get it on my PC right now for those sweet, sweet mods, because I have seen some pretty good mods for Skyrim. But again, it's gonna be great that I have this awesome, awesome game that I can take with me wherever I go. I might actually end up getting it again on PC, just because I wanna try some mods, but my introduction to Skyrim will be on the Nintendo Switch. 
All right, and to close out November, on the 28th, we're gonna be getting Resident Evil Revelations and Revelations 2. And I've been a huge fan of the Resident Evil franchise since way back. Resident Evil 2, I believe, on PlayStation 1. And I haven't really gotten into it lately, so I think that this is a great way for me to jump back into the franchise. Just to see where it is right now and what it has to offer. And again, it's gonna be portable. That's like, it's such a huge selling point for me that I get to play all these awesome titles wherever I want to take them. And those are the major games that are on my radar right now. And that's not even counting the many other titles that I've missed. Like, there's gonna be an expansion for Slipper Clips. There's also gonna be Cat Quest, and I mean, look at it. You're a cat with a sword. I don't even think I need to say anything else. I Now that I'm looking at it, I might actually get this. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add this to my list. Of, of games that I need to get. And then there's also Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which I don't think I really need to say anything about. It's, it's a good game and it seems like it'll be great to play it on the Nintendo Switch. And then there's also It'll Do 2, which is a port of a one-year-old game, but it looks so at home on the Nintendo Switch and I've never actually played it, so I might actually end up adding that in my list as well to buy. Like, I really like the, the art style on this game, and I love the gameplay. You know what, I'm just gonna stop right there, because I feel like the more I talk about these games, the more I'm convincing myself that there are more things that I need to get. And there are only so many days in the month, and there are only so many games that I can play, and of course I want to do live streams for most of these games, so it's, it's, it's getting a little bit crazy. And just when you think that the month of November is done, you're not getting a break from all of that. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 drops on the very first day of December and I'm gonna be all about it. I think at this point, all I can really say is, um, Wallet, we've, we've definitely had some great times, we've shared some special moments together, but who cares at this point? Be it's, it's a great time to own a Nintendo Switch and I'm looking forward to every minute of this. Peace out.